Welcome back, friend. We've made astounding progress thanks to you. Analysis of the Hoth data has laid bare the entire defense grid of the Emperor's Fortress. There are weaknesses we can exploit. Even better, we understand how the cloaking device protects the fortress. We've just jury-rigged a scanner that sees through it. At last, the Emperor is within our reach. This is the beginning of the end for the Sith Empire. We'll be the dawn that breaks the night. Our vessels are being prepped for the journey to Droman Kaas. Long-range scanners will receive upgrades to detect the Emperor's fortress. We'll pilot our individual starships to land in different docking bays. Multiple targets will divide the enemy's defenses. Once we're inside the fortress, we'll each follow an assigned path through the security grid. We'll converge on the Emperor's throne room. We'll capture the Sith leader, bring him to Typhon, and redeem him to the light side of the Force. A perfect victory. Capturing the Emperor will be hard enough. Turning him into an ally? Is it even possible? I convinced a member of the Dark Council. The Emperor will be no different. He's just another Sith. Defeating the Sith through violence accomplishes nothing. We must embrace them as our own. It is the key to a lasting peace that will save countless lives. Master Braga, we must speak before this plan goes any further. There are those among us who have raised... concerns. If anyone doubts our ability to do this, let them object. I'm sure we can dispel their doubts. I've always considered your plan reckless, Master Braga. Now your former team member comes to me with a disturbing vision you chose to ignore. Jomar. We discussed this. You should be in the Kolto Baths. You still haven't recovered from your attack on Tatooine. It was during those healing meditations that I saw a vision of this Jedi. He was falling to the dark side, becoming a Sith. Tell us exactly what you saw happening. It might help me avoid such a terrible outcome. You stood on the red sands of Korriban, the center of Sith power. Your eyes were burning coals. I saw you torturing your own crew. They screamed for mercy, but your heart was cold. Alien. Sith. The future is forever in motion. Events that appear certain today are impossible tomorrow. Must I remind the Council that the Jedi do not pass judgments based solely on visions? If you take him on this mission, it will fail. I should go instead. The Emperor's Fortress is no place for a wounded Jedi. Better me than you! That will be enough. I fear emotions have clouded judgment. I've known this Jedi since he was Master Orgus' Padawan. He has saved lives across the galaxy. I do not doubt his loyalty. Jomar, Master Caden, I appreciate your concerns, but I do not share them. I see no reason to delay Master Braga's mission. Thank you, Master Satil. And you, Master Kuix. No thanks are needed. With the Force as guide, I simply follow my conscience. Nothing more. No, this is wrong! I know what I saw! Master Braga, I demand you reconsider. There's too much at stake here. The time for debates is over. The hour of our victory approaches. My friends, we depart for the Emperor's Fortress at once. We'll coordinate our assault once we're all inside. May the Force be with us. Life of a combat medic. Long hours, grueling work. Patients bleeding all over your nice clothes. I'm not complaining. Nothing beats the look of gratitude from someone whose life you just saved. But it gets distracting when beautiful patients fall in love with you. Lots of ethical dilemmas, you know. 
how often do combat medics meet beautiful women? Why do you think I took the job? I figured Jedi have the same problem. You must have admirers lined up from one end of the galaxy to the other. Jedi have no interest in gaining admirers, or being admired. You don't know what you're missing. Just imagine how popular we'll be after we knock the Sith Empire into a black hole. If I were you, I'd get some extra sleep. get along without me for a bit, right? Need to pop over to Alderaan. Old friend of mine there got kidnapped by gangsters. They'll kill her if I don't deliver the spice they paid me for. How can you be so casual about this? Your friend is in terrible danger. Why worry? Old Doc's got everything under control. A couple of years back, I scanned this gang for a bulk load of credits. Spent everything to set up a refugee hospital on Alderaan. My friend is the head doctor there. Uh, I guess the gangsters finally figured out where all the money went. They're holding your friend hostage until you give them their credits. Or the spice. I'm going undercover for Republic Customs. Once I deliver the spice and free my friend, the good guys swoop in. Gangsters go to prison and my friend gets your hospital back. Whole plan's foolproof. Won't take any time at all. This sounds too dangerous for you to handle alone. I should come. I can take care of these laser brains, pal. You keep the Sith busy until I get back, all right? These gangsters were smarter than I thought. But the Republic hostage negotiators talked them out of killing me. They were really something. I assume the woman you went to save also survived. Old Doc never lets down a lady in distress. My friend got away clean. We never got a chance to catch up, but, uh, hey, that's her on the hollow. Probably wants to say thanks. Hey, pretend you work for me, all right? You look terrific, Prudy. Have you lost weight? Love the new hairstyle. Two years without so much as a hollow, and that's all you can say. You abandoned me at our wedding. Doc, is this woman your wife? We're just good friends. She's a little confused, that's all. I thought you loved me. You said all those wonderful things on Ord Mantel. Broody, sweetheart, those were <laughs> sweet nothings. You should never take those at face value. My parents flew all the way from Corson for a wedding that never happened. You loathsome cat. I wish I'd never met you. Some people simply aren't destined for each other. Destiny has nothing to do with it. He's a coward. Look on the bright side, Prudy. You still have that hospital I bought you. The gangsters burned it to the ground. She still loves me. Gangsters on Alderaan brought back some great memories. Oh, they used to call me Doc Operator back in the day. I was the go-to guy for everything medical. Trauma kits, surgical droids, hospitals, you name it, and I could get it. One time, this hut was hoarding med packs after a massive ground quake, selling them in an obscene markup. I tricked Mandalorians into attacking his palace. Pitting Mandalorians against a hut? You enjoy living dangerously, Doc. Please. I risk more walking down the street with you. I forged a death mark signed by the hut against the Mandalorian clan. They, uh, accidentally found it with a little help from yours truly. The Mandalorians attacked the hut palace in record time. By sheer coincidence, I was there to sweep in and clear out the hut's med packs. You expect me to believe that's all you took? I know how huts live. The hut was hiding rare gems in a few med packs. Strangest thing. Thanks to an anonymous donor, every hospital in the disaster zone received supplies to treat their patients. 
saved thousands of lives. That was small time compared to what we're doing. When we save the galaxy, I'm not staying anonymous. We have got to get off this ship and do something besides beat up bad guys. Don't get me wrong, that's important. But it wouldn't kill us to go out and socialize a bit. I know all the best clubs. I'll show you around, make some introductions. Never know who you might meet. It'll be fun. When the Sith Empire is finally defeated, I'll be able to relax. You can't put a conditional like that on your life. What happens if we all die or get really old and boring before then? You keep saying no all you want, but old Doc's not gonna stop asking. Might as well give in and live a little, right? Between my good looks and your lightsaber, there's nothing we can't do. I've docked inside the Emperor's fortress. No sign of opposition. I'm in as well. Perhaps we caught the Emperor napping. I took some cannon fire getting in, but my shields held up. The Medes detect enemy forces converging on my hangar. <sighs> Looks like I drew the short straw. Everyone disembark. Follow your routes to the objective. No surrender, no retreat. Remember the Fallen, and do not fail them. I'll see you in the throne room. May the Force protect us all. Master Bugger, out. I can feel him. He's waiting. He'd be laughing if he still knew how. Who's laughing? I don't hear anything. The Emperor isn't afraid. He's just quiet. Still, all he feels is cold rage. Anger is born from fear. The Emperor knows his time is up. We'll be alright. The Emperor is the strongest Sith alive. Stronger than any of us. We shouldn't have come. This is a trap. You'll be safe on the ship. I'll take one of the others. This isn't about me. We're all at risk. The docking base sealed shut behind us. Retreat is not an option. I'll go with you. Maybe I should stay and look after Kira. Poor kid. Look at her shaking. T7 and Sergeant Rusk will watch Kira. Come on, Doc. That makes sense. I'm better in a fight.
Call if you need me. Hey there. Stand by for examination and suggested product. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. Thank you. 